From the Global Newsroom in Toronto, this is News Final. Good evening, I'm Rob Malcolm. Thanks for joining us. New tonight, the Occupy Toronto movement is back as marchers descend on Queen's Park for a candlelight vigil. It was a violent start to the new year across the GTA last night. Police in Toronto are now probing not one, but two homicides that happened just hours after 2012 began. New electrical, new paint, new carpeting, even new management. Greenwood Corporation will now take over the day-to-day -day operation of this building behind me, and residents here say the compensation hasn't been enough. Breaking news tonight. What began as celebration ended tonight in tragedy. Just after the Toronto Caribbean Carnival came to a close, gunshots rang out, leaving one person dead. Let's bring in Global's Jennifer Palsock now with the latest. Well, it's time for a little jock yoga. I did a little warm up. I'm kind of breaking a sweat already. Now Mike's going to really put me through the test. Good evening, Leslie. We're coming to you live from Queen and Soho Street. You'll see behind me the uh, historic Black Bull uh, Bar and Tavern. Now you see the upper floors here. Behind me, the upper floors are torched. Peel police have made a pair of arrests in the murder of a 19-year-old in Mississauga. On December 28th, 19-year-old Kevin Pham was found stabbed at a building near here Ontario Street in Queensway West. He was rushed to hospital where he died. A Canada-wide warrant was issued for 19-year-old Elon Washington Brooks in connection with the murder. He was arrested by Peel police tonight and has been charged with second-degree murder. Early today, a 17-year-old was also arrested in this case and is facing the same charge. And for a family in Scarborough, last night meant more than just celebrating the clock striking 12. They were also celebrating the arrival of their new baby. The first to be born in the GTA in 2012, David Shum now caught up with the family and their bundle of joy. Here comes a new cost for taking the TTC. Starting today, it will cost you more to ride the Red Rocket. The TTC is instituting a 10 cent fare hike that will affect tokens and metro passes. The cash fare, though, remains the same at $3. The fare hike is aimed at helping raise $30 million the TTC says it needs for its operating budget. Uh, for many communities, New Year's Day is a chance to meet their political leaders. And if you live in Mississauga, that means you have a date with Hazel. Trade in those fall coats for winter and, of course, check your car. I'm hearing there's a chill in the air, Debbie. A big chill. Well, good evening and thanks for joining us. Well, this is it. If you haven't finished your Christmas shopping yet, you can literally count the time you have left in minutes. Today, those last few hearty souls hit the malls looking to cross those remaining names off their lists. And Rob Leth was there taking in all this shopping madness. To our roads now, a pair of crashes tie up traffic on the Don Valley Parkway. It was messy. The roadway became a traffic nightmare after an SUV went out of control and flipped into northbound lanes near Dundas Street. Now, the driver suffered serious injuries and had to be removed from the vehicle. Moments later, another crash occurred at the scene, this time in the southbound lanes, as drivers rubbernecked to see the first crash. Now, the collisions reduced the DVP to one lane in each direction for much of the afternoon. But he's got to wish this Christmas. Boy, I tell you, I'm wishing for some snow. I talked to my family out west, and they're diving into white stuff. Nothing uh, like that out here, though, Jacket. Well, we're going to see a few flurries. Uh, you finished all your Christmas shopping? Uh, yes, and I better be because the stores are closed now. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> you know, i got to check that list to find out what's open because I've got about three more gifts. To you go do? To, yeah, it's for my brothers, though, so I hope they won't mind uh, air freshness for oh, everybody. Oh, that's yeah. always That's nice. all I can do, yeah. Boy, I'm glad I'm not related <laughs> to you. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, Jack. And stay tuned for Global National. That's up next. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Well, it's fight night in Toronto as the sport of ultimate fighting makes a return to the city. Unlike April, this is far from sold out with... Some people arguing that the promoters have delivered the ultimate knockout punch by pricing some tickets well over $700. Global's Rob Leth caught up with fans at the Air Canada Center. The UFC fight tonight, obviously people were maybe a little bit disappointed that GSP uh, wasn't the card, but you said wasn't on the card, but uh, again, uh, a pretty pretty good fight night. Yeah, tonight, we said. watched the whole card here at work tonight. It was great from top to bottom. A lot of good knockouts. One guy actually broke his arm via submission. Whew, gruesome, gruesome stuff. Ah, nice family entertainment. <laughs> great if you're a fight fan. Welcome back. Cold overnight, warm during the day. Here's Jacqueline to tell us now why we don't know what to do with our thermostats. Jacqueline. <laughs> You're going to want it or hats or anything else. You know what? I say speak for yourself because oh, I, live, yeah? I live for the weekends. And Monday to Friday, <laughs> as long as it's uh, chilly during the week, I don't mind. You don't uh, mind? I, I don't mind. I mean, uh, obviously, this must be pretty unseasonable right now, though, what we're dealing with. Yeah, this 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 above seasonal trend we're getting into is, is pretty pretty rare and pretty fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, good stuff. I got a story tonight.
His stage name, Lil Jay Z. This is Lie, try to survive global TV, cause you know I'm so alive. He's played it all and uses his voice for rap. Freestyle, let my style be free. It's a surprise to everyone because these seamless rhymes come from a voice sounding like this. He like helps produce songs. He's talking about his older brother Cole, who helps produce and is also a at Jake's talents. I think it's really cool. He can like rap like normally and when he talks he stutters it brings a whole new way to communicate. The brothers hit the right note December 3rd at a ticket concert at Cool House. Jake talked his way backstage and performed for his idol Drake. <laughs> what did he say when you rapped him? He's like oh. <laughs> And that's awesome. Man, it's awesome, yeah. Jake's had the debilitating stutter ever since he learned to speak. The family has spent thousands on therapy. Nothing's worked. Also an accomplished artist, they've been told that Jake is using the part of the brain which doesn't control speech. The way he raps is fast talking. So it's not really a melody or carrying, you know, a melody. It's he's thinking things really, really quickly and it's coming out really fast and he's able to do that no problem. So I'm hoping one day it will all come together with his speech. The entire posse are proud. I'm just shocked. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew you'd I become was... famous. Drake and Jake are now Twitter buds. The Toronto superstar continues to keep in touch. Under the stage name Lil Jay-Z, Jake also performed for the charity Free the Children. I go from Toronto, Summer Heights representing. Dreams can come true, and this would be music to anyone's ears. Swimming in the ocean, all the waves and the commotion. And my mom, we're making poaching. It's a volcano explosion. Global TV, Toronto, where it's at. Wanna go rhyme like blah, blah. And that's a rap, literally. Rob Malcolm, <laughs> Global News. <laughs> well done, gentlemen. On to the rest of your news. And this early morning workout at System Fitness would give anybody brave enough a whole new perspective on yoga. All right, so it's time for a little jock yoga. I did a little warm up. I'm kind of breaking a sweat already. Now Mike's going to really put me through the test. We're just going to hold in a high plank pose. High plank, upward and downward dog, all the poses of yoga, but with a twist that can hurt. Now pull the hand back in space a little bit. Ouch. Now Mike DeCourt's classes are challenging, where traditional yoga focuses on aligning breath with movement. And hold for five breaths. One. Jock yoga focuses more on strength training rather than getting your legs behind your head. My cameraman didn't think I would make it, and neither did I. Exhale, swing it around, step the foot forward. We were asked to hold postures and poses, some possible, others not so much. And grab your big toe. After a half hour and plenty of sweat, I quickly faded. Four, five. 200 crunches finished me off. I'm tapping out. <laughs> Half a class. I already, I already tapped out. Mike's a true inspiration. He struggled with substance abuse and had stints in rehab. He got sober in 2001, then focused on getting fit. In one of my slogans, even though it says jock yoga, strong practice, I also have strong body, still mind. His workouts are bringing guys to the mat with the challenge of doing more. Yeah, I took this just to try it out, and I was like, wow, this is like a kind of a synergy of like the gym upstairs and yoga at the same time. For guys that think yoga wouldn't be for them, like if it wasn't for Michael's classes, I guarantee you I probably wouldn't be doing yoga at all. And the ladies are right there too. It's a challenge and it makes you sweat, it gives you a workout. I think for your first time, you did very well. You know, I think you can work on your flexibility and strength, but that's okay. <laughs> you did a great job. What would you tell people, news they can use, uh, not uh, to be intimidated? What would you tell them? I would say don't be intimidated because we do start slow. We do start slow. I set up the posture so that you know what you're doing. Pull down, pull down, pull down, and then release. Extend your legs forward. All right, and uh, here I am in one piece. Talk about a guy uh, using fitness to beat his demons. Now, he uh, traded one addiction for another. He grew up in Thunder Bay and uh, was addicted to uh, alcohol out there. He got into the club scene in Toronto, ended up getting into drugs. So he really turned his life around. Totally. And, yeah, and he says that 
anybody can turn their life around physically and mentally. So it's been good for him. It's good, been good for a lot of other people. Okay, too. so there's lots of different types of yoga out there. There's hot yoga, flow yoga. Given all the options, I mean, you're a guy who works out. You're you're very fit. I thought this, I was fit until I oh, did this. It, it, that's very interesting, right? <laughs> yes. So uh, would would a man who likes you know yeah. weights and that kind of thing would this be for him? Um, I would say I would say for sure. I mean, because, because the thing is, you don't have to be intimidated by the flexibility. Mike's. <laughs> ride a hippo, let alone work on one. Well, sign me up. I've been invited to be a tour guide for a day. This is not the most glamorous part of the day, but we got to keep it clean for everybody. Absolutely. You probably noticed these amphibious buses trolling our streets. They're funny and familiar. By land and by water, they offer tours and locals sightseeing tours of Toronto. It seats 40, so first things first, we have to sell tickets for the 90-minute tour. You just got to stand here, look people in the eye. Hippo tours, you want to go with, get on the bus, hippo tours? Good, thanks. No, sure. Yeah. How you doing? Fine, oh, you saw, well, I just wanted to take one of these here. Here you go. I was going to try to slide it in there, no but, problem. Thank you. you know. Our driver today is Captain Mary. She's a marine licensed captain who also used to drive school buses. It's crazy fun. Crazy fun? I drive a bus into the lake. <laughs> How much better? You can't get and much I better than that. Out. <laughs> we check the propeller and oil. Tires, check for damage, then check in passengers. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> Our tour takes us past some of the city's major landmarks, fully narrated by Vanda. This is the main strip of downtown Toronto. Robbie, there's no test after this. You'll be okay. I'm learning here. This okay. is great. You're a wealth of information. As we approach Ontario Place, I get my chance. And yes, I passed an air brake test. Do you feel like praying now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not praying. It's a pretty wide view that we have here, Mary. It is very wide. Yes. Wild. Okay, still up here. But before making a splash, a checklist. <laughs> Engine hatch closed? Check. Depth sounder? Check. We're good to go. <laughs> We're good to go. All right. <laughs> Brace yourselves. <laughs> With Mary at my side, we navigate the waters. You're just looking forward. Okay. Crashing into the blue slope, not a good idea. <laughs> now, time for the tour. Now, to my right, this is Ontario Place. It's our 40th anniversary right now, so for a guy on a budget like me, what that means for me and for you is that everything's free. I'm doing very well for his first time, yeah. Anybody know the words like one love? So cool. yeah. so cool. One love, one love. We work for tips, let's not say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't hold everyone's attention, but it was worth it. Tell me you learned something. No, I didn't learn anything when you were talking, but I learned something when she was talking. <laughs> The hippo bus tours run daily, 10 to 6, book early because they do tend to sell out. And who knows, I may join you. Rob Malcolm, Global News. All right, folks, we're looking for your ideas now, the more unusual jobs we can assign to Rob. If you have a suggestion, go to our website, globaltoronto.com, and click on Rob's Jobs, and we're hoping you can come up with some good ones for us.